Okay, in the commercial break, we just hit 23,000, two points below it. Hey, does anybody have an S&P hat as well? The S&P just hit a brand new record, and I believe the NASDAQ is about a point away. Woo, Mark Matson, get in here right now. Uh, you have got $8.2 billion under management. You've been with Fox Business pretty much from the start. What do you make of a day like this? Are you in buying or are you sitting yep. back at the moment too high, too rich for your tastes? Yeah, we don't ever sit back here at Matson Money. We believe equities are the greatest wealth creation tool on the planet, and you have to be in it to benefit from it. So a day like today, when you're looking at highs or near highs, by the way, you need to keep me coming back because this happened last time I was on, too. <laughs> um, but we're near all those highs, and yeah. And it's easy for people to get myopically focused just on the Dow. That's mm -hmm. only 30 companies. We're in 11,000. So, you know, it's great to celebrate. It's really fun. It's got a lot of drama in it. But don't get sucked into just one uh, asset category. Okay, what are the three non-Dow stocks with just about a minute left to talk here that you really like? We'll put all three up and you just quickly tell us what the common thread is. Well, the common thread is a lot of these are small value companies. They, they're stocks that have a lot of assets, but are depressed value. And what that means is they have a high cost of capital. So, you know, a lot of times people invest in big growth companies because they're in all the headlines. But really where the highest expected return is academically is from smaller distressed companies, mm -hmm. both here and internationally. So not just not just here. And emerging market stocks this year are up over 30 percent. The Dow's done well, about 16 percent. But you really need to own that international diversification to round it out. All right. Well, here, uh, as we see right now, we're five points away. And with the S&P, any gain, folks, for the S&P is another record. We have warned everybody, you sometimes don't see it on the day you hit it intraday, which is what happened at 11.06 a.m. Eastern time. One last word, Mark. Here comes the, uh, the confetti. <laughs> okay. Quick. Yeah, you want to look in, in times like this when interest rates are low. A lot of people try to put money in uh, uh, high risk bonds and yeah. short term. Get out of that. And stay in equities. All right. Th this is too close to call right now. We're eight points away, but let me give it to after the bell. Thanks for watching the claim and countdown.